trying his best to get that goal line save. Long shot from Waldo. Good save. Double touch. Oh my goodness. Astro is the nuttiest player I've ever seen. There's the young gun. Part of the young clan. Element. Not element. Elements in chat. Astro. Astro. Our young gun. Our next gen player. Going up against Waldo. Waldo is trying to... Uh, Ask for a 1v1 series against Gino. But instead, he's going to get Astro. Astro been playing more uh, two-mans recently than he has in the past. He played like one of the first couple games of two-mans, but hasn't played in a while since then. And it's going to get scored on on a counterattack to start this one. This is just a uh, a random two-man's game that happened to be queued while we were streaming. You can see our tournament is going to be starting up at the top right there. How old is Waldo? I'm not sure. I'm not sure Waldo is also a young gun. To be fair, it is not a requirement to tell us your age in order to join two-man's. I just happen to know that Astro um, is 14 years old from playing in the under-15 tournament that we've had in the past. People in the fear community are so nice. Oh, thanks, man. That's good to know. I, I, you, you wanna, you hopefully want to reflect nice values into your community. Um, so, unfortunately, my community might rage at ranked as well. But you know, you give and you take. Astro tying it up one one. This is a best of three, and it's probably not in the stream title, so if a mod was sitting in chat and they wanted to, you know, update that, I wouldn't blame them. But I'll also do it myself after the next goal. Astro has always played super defensively in ones when I've ever seen him play. Now, it might have something to do with having to play against Daniel, um, and that's probably the last couple times we've seen him play is against Daniel, so maybe there's a reason why he's sat in net because literally Daniel is just constantly destroying him with shot for shot for shot but I think even against other players he has turned uh, shown to be a very defensive minded 1v1er not a bad idea uh, I think he just probably gives up a little bit too much space than the average player um, by going all the way back to his net but so far he hasn't really done that at all so it's it's uh, maybe we're, we're speaking a little bit too soon on his play. Nice quick play off the wall. Nice shot from Astro. Stealing that one away at midfield to go up 3 1. What's going on, Arctic? Good to see you, bud. Shujax, you try not to rage? No, I definitely rage. Sh Shujax knows I raged as I forfeited a game to him um, when he tied it up in two mans. Went to game three in the finals of a diamond turning and lost. Oh, big rip, Arctic. Sorry, man. Astro with an insane pre-jump as Waldo was trying to set up a potential dribble. Astro didn't want to have any of it. So he showed super, super early on the jump and I convinced Waldo to take it low. Astro trying to get the low 50 in front of Waldo's net. Interesting touch. That was kind of a, a bad touch from Astro. Trying to set up a fake, but that's a really nice angle. And even Waldo's going to give him the nice shot for that one. But I really think that Waldo probably should have dove in on that weird fake setup from Astro. But I guess at the end of the day, it wasn't fake. And Waldo falls for it. And then a nice setup off the corner. Astro is definitely a precision striker. Even when I watched him play in threes, he seemed to be... Oh, he just is going to let this ball go easily in, though, as I was about to try and commend his defensive play. But I watched him play a 3v3 tournament where he just carried his team, it seemed, somehow on defense and offense, uh, saving absolutely everything that came his way and being their striker at the same time. Astro bringing this ball down to the ground for a nice flick and boost starvation. Waldo trying to set himself up, but a nice... Toss over him. 
is going to be enough. Waldo held on to all the boosts he needed to. But wave he's just giving too much space to Astro right now. It's actually kind of the other way. This is something that we saw Astro make the uh, a mistake that we saw Astro make a lot when we've watched him play in the past, which is kind of just waiting at the net line to make a save and, and not closing out in opportunities that he should. That's definitely what Waldo's done the past couple times here uh, to Astro's attacks. He really could afford to just cut these plays out before they start, but instead trying his best to get that goal line save. Long shot from Waldo, good save. Double touch, oh my goodness, Astro is the nuttiest player I've ever seen. This was a great double from Astro. Oh my gosh, what a clip. That was nasty. Nobody's ever hit in a uh, own goal that good. We actually saw we saw a very weird own goal before. I remember somebody like just dribbled it like straight into their own net completely on accident. Oh, what placement! My goodness, it doesn't get better than this. Waldo off the kickoff, back to get his boost, and, and this isn't a bad coverage of the net. He left everything open, but I'm oh, sorry, he left everything closed except for crossbar down and off the post all you can really ask for but Astro up 6-3 we don't have the scoreboard up here at all which is nice because it probably would have the wrong names on it anyways but I'll put it up after the end of this game number one long shot from Waldo that should be enough Astro had absolutely no business going for that midfield boost Astro is better than Squishy showing dominance by scoring on both nets he has scored, you know, seven goals to Waldo's three. Astro lobbing it high off the kickoff. Waldo getting the clear away. Waldo's loving those wave dash setups to, uh, to put him into, like, shadowing mode. He drives up close and turns around Wendy's and wave dashes to initiate, like, hey, I'm going to start shadowing now, just to let us know. Bitrate. Oh, no. Hopefully the bitrate doesn't fall too bad. Waldo just a missed touch on the back wall. Waldo thought he took advantage on the kickoff, tried to go up the sidewall. But Astro, a couple pads, did a really good job of saving boost. Plus the 12 that he picked up, he had 35. Which is as much as you could ever need in a uh, power shot situation. So 8-4, Astro is winning like Waldo expected. I'm not really sure what these guys' uh, ratings are. To be fair, somebody who's just barely uh, better than me in theory could be rank A. And uh, somebody who's just barely better than me would, of course, get clapped by Astro. But Astro's going to win at least this game number one as he takes it. 1-0. Spectate. Here we go. Game number two. I think Waldo was not playing in the Fennec last time. Did anybody confirm... I want to say Waldo played that last game in the Octane, but he switched to the Fennec. Arctic, you gotta go just checking in. Good to see you, man. He wasn't. He wasn't. He's in the Octane. Thank you for the confirmation, Semi. Sometimes I feel like I'm a crazy person. Waldo showing some nice possession at the start of this game. It's a great 45 degree flick, and he's forced Astro to make a save that left him inside his net, which is usually so advantageous for the attacker, but he is not going to make a play quick enough to take advantage of it. Astro able to come out of the net and get back to the ball in time. Nice ceiling play. I was going to say reset, but he usually just used the reset to go straight back down to the ground, but not a bad setup. Almost able to take one. Waldo with the demo and the shot. He should be able to tap this one in for a first, and he'll go up 
Waldo losing that kick off into his own half. Has to take the backflip. Gives up possession and boost Astro. My goodness, he's so clinical with those shots. So accurate. This time, just barely, barely is it crossbarring out instead of crossbarring down. But my goodness, a demo for Astro. A double touch, and he's not quite able to get it on. A little bit extra flair than he probably needed if he wanted to tie this game back up. Waldo stuck with absolutely no boost, and a great flick from Astro is going to keep it out of reach to bring it back to tied up. Astro looking to end the, uh, the series here in this game number two. Waldo looking to tie it back up. Astro going to get an easy kickoff goal. Waldo, Night Owl bump. Night Owl has used the Night Owl bump many a times to take down Astro. So Waldo might have done his research. The double jump pop and then snipe the defender out of the air. We don't like to call it the air dribble bump because uh, there is no air dribbling part of it. You just double jump pop it and then go for that interception on the defender. So we call it the Night Owl Bump here. Astro going for a Night Owl Bump of his own, but a little bit too far away from the net. Waldo's not going to have any trouble. Just skating under him. The pre-jumps from Astro are so early. And uh, Waldo getting lost completely on that dribble. Not a great play from Astro. That'll be a free bucket for Waldo. Oh my goodness, it actually seemed like for a moment it wasn't going to be. But a wave to Ash in the third. Astro not playing his normal 100% defense style we've seen him play in the past. And that's probably credit to uh, his opponent this time around, or his opponents, I should say, in the previous matchups, forcing him to play defense so much. But he is such a great defender, and I think that's the reason why it looks like he's stuck on defense, is because these shots that would normal, otherwise normally just be goals for other players um, get saved away. It seems like he lives so much longer than he otherwise should. A nice demo. This should be a third. Two minutes, 208 for Astro to continue what he just did. Take the lead and end it. For the record, because I have a feeling these guys might end up asking, nice kickoff goal. This is will not be a, a double point game. Uh, the best of threes are always just the regular scores. Best of fives, everyone will be given the double points out when we stream them. Specifically in the show match queue, which people frequently are not using. So maybe I need to adjust the show match queue to uh, not show people's names. Nice shot from Astro. Waldo trying to clear this as best he can. He's slamming it into his own back wall to get a pinch out, but very clinical setup from Astro. Chip that ball high into that double jump territory and then use the aerial shot to send it straight into the net while constantly being at that double jump height. And basically it's, it's impossible for a defender like Waldo who did not have a lot of boost uh, to be able to save it away. So very heads up play from Astro. Not a great touch from Waldo. That's a free goal the other way if Astro wants it. Bro, if you were rank A, you would spam that cue. Rank A is uh, maybe the, the most populated Q. I think uh, it probably goes Rank A then Rank C. But Rank C might be number one, or at least for a while, Rank C was definitely number one. Rank C was popping off, man. People love to Q Rank C. Astro has been a boost fiend here. Got a little bit overexcited, though. He slammed that shot way high off the backboard. Oh, no way. Not going to happen. Astro to the sidewall. Has absolutely no boost. Is he finally going to give up on the play? He will. So Waldo gets a high bounce into an air dribble. But the flip reset is no dice. A seventh goal for Astro. And just like last game, the beginning, the first few minutes of the, uh, of the game seem to be somewhat even. Not sure which way it's going to go. But Astro has blown out a big lead at the end of this one. 
Up 7-3. Another nice kickoff. Going for another Night Owl bump. And it's going to work. How many players in the Discord? I think 300 players have signed up for two mans. And I think there's probably something like 400 something in the Discord. Who are either followers of the stream or they join but they never actually rank check. Nice shot from Waldo. This is what we're going to need to see from Waldo if we want to watch him come back. We need to see kickoff after kickoff after kickoff. The next 44 seconds. Needs to average 11 seconds a goal. Nice touch from Astro. Getting fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Grabbing that back corner boost. Little tornado spin, I think, to get that air roll or that diagonal flip. Into the bounce shot. 9-4. That should secure it. Astro should be taking this rank A series 2-0. Champion 1 in rank 1 in ones is rank B. That is true. Oh, you're saying you're rank B. Gotcha. Ooh, nice. 50. My goodness. All of a sudden, nothing can go wrong for this guy named Astro. <laughs> Look at these 50s. Little butt 50. Another butt 50. Ten four over and out. 10 seconds left. Will they end it on this very nice... Uh, Scoreline. Did you see Oath just beat Gino? I did. Oh, are you asking Semikiss or Adam? I mean, of course I did. I was showmatch casting it. Here we go. Game number two. I think Waldo was not playing in the Fennec last time. Did anybody confirm? I want to say Waldo played that last game in the Octane, but he switched to the Fennec. Arctic, you gotta go to check it in. Good to see you, man. He wasn't. He wasn't. He's in the Octane. Thank you for the confirmation, Semi. Sometimes I feel like I'm a crazy person. Waldo showing some nice possession at the start of this game. It's a great 45 degree flick and he's forced Astro to make a save that left him inside his net which is usually so advantageous for the attacker but he is not going to make a play quick enough. To take advantage of it, Astro able to come out of the net and get back to the ball in time. Nice ceiling play. I was going to say reset, but he usually just used the reset to go straight back down to the ground. But Not a bad setup. Almost able to take one. Waldo with the demo and the shot. He should be able to tap this one in for a first. And he'll go up 1-0. Waldo losing that kickoff into his own half. Has to take the backflip. Gives up possession and boost Astro. My goodness, he's so clinical with those shots. So accurate. This time, just barely, barely is it crossbarring out instead of crossbarring down. But my goodness. A demo for Astro. A double touch. And he's not quite able to get it on. A little bit extra flair than he probably needed if he wanted to tie this game back up. Waldo stuck with absolutely no boost, and a great flick from Astro is going to keep it out of reach to bring it back to tied up. Astro looking to end the uh, the series here in this game number two. Waldo looking to tie it back up. Astro going to get an easy kickoff goal.
Waldo, Night Owl Bump. Night Owl has used the Night Owl Bump many a times to take down Astro. So Waldo might have done his research. The double jump pop and then snipe the defender out of the air. We don't like to call it the air dribble bump because uh, there is no air dribbling part of it. You just double jump pop it and then go for that interception on the defender. So we call it the Night Owl Bump here. Astro going for a Night Owl Bump of zone, but a little bit too far away from the net. Waldo's not going to have any trouble. Just skating under him. The pre-jumps from Astro are so early. And uh, Waldo getting lost completely on that dribble. Not a great play from Astro. That'll be a free bucket for Waldo. Oh my goodness, it actually seemed like for a moment it wasn't going to be. But a wave dash in a third. Astro not playing his normal 100% defense style we've seen him play in the past. And that's probably credit to uh, his opponent this time around, or his opponents, I should say, in the previous matchups, forcing him to play defense so much. But he is such a great defender, and I think that's the reason why it looks like he's stuck on defense, is because these shots that would normal, otherwise normally just be goals for other players um, get saved away. Seems like he lives so much longer than he otherwise should. A nice demo. This should be a third. Two minutes, 208 for Astro to continue what he just did. Take the lead and end it. For the record, because I have a feeling these guys might end up asking, nice kickoff goal. This is will not be a, a double point game. Uh, the best of threes are always just the regular scores. Best of fives, everyone will be given the double points out when we stream them. Specifically in the show match queue, which people frequently are not using. So maybe I need to adjust the show match queue to uh, not show people's names. Nice shot from Astro. Waldo trying to clear this as best he can. He's slamming it into his own back wall to get a pinch out. But... Very clinical setup from Astro. Chip that ball high into that double jump territory and then use the aerial shot to send it straight into the net while constantly being at that double jump height. And basically, it's, it's impossible for a defender like Waldo who did not have a lot of boost uh, to be able to save it away. So, very heads up play from Astro. Not a great touch from Waldo. That's a free goal the other way if Astro wants it. Bro, if you were rank A, you would spam that Q. Rank A is uh, maybe the, the most populated Q. I think uh, it probably goes Rank A, then Rank C. But Rank C might be number one, or at least for a while, Rank C was definitely number one. Rank C was popping off, man. People love to Q Rank C. Astro has been a boost fiend here. Got a little bit overexcited, though. As he slammed that shot way high off the backboard. Oh, no way. Not gonna happen. Astro to the sidewall, has absolutely no boost. Is he finally gonna give up on the play? He will. So Waldo gets a high bounce into a air dribble. But the flip reset is no dice. A seventh goal for Astro. And just like last game, the beginning, the first few minutes of the, uh, of the game seem to be somewhat even. Not sure which way it's gonna go, but Astro has blown out a big lead at the end of this one. Up 7-3, another nice kickoff. Going for another Night Owl bump, and it's gonna work. How many players in the Discord? I think 300 players have signed up for two mans. And I think there's probably something like 400 something in the Discord who are either followers of the stream or they join but they never actually rank check. Nice shot from Waldo. This is what we're going to need to see from Waldo if we want to watch him come back. We need to see kickoff after kickoff after kickoff. The next 44 seconds. He needs to average 11 seconds a goal. Nice touch from Astro. Get him fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Grabbing that back corner boost. Little tornado spin, I think, to get that air roll or that diagonal flip. 
into the match shot. 9-4. That should secure it. Astro should be taking this rank A series 2-0. to zero. Champion 1 in rank 1 in ones is rank B. That is true. Oh, you're saying you're rank B. Gotcha. Oh, nice. 50. My goodness. All of a sudden, nothing can go wrong for this guy named Astro. <laughs> Look at these 50s. Little butt 50. Another butt 50. Ten four over and out. Ten seconds left. Will they end it on this very nice uh, score line? Did you see Oath just beat Gino? I did. Oh, are you asking Semikiss or Adam? I mean, of course I did. I was show match casting it.